right, so today it's another day, but of course, usually we do it when we go to the UK. They run things over there, and when we come to Ghana, too, we sometimes meet them. But this time, we are in Ghana, and I'm talking about Big Nash Promotions. Yes, he's based in London. He comes to Ghana because he wants to always promote good works of Ghanaian musicians outside Ghana. He recently won an award at the Nellis Awards UK, and today he's here. We get to talk more to him on that. Welcome to Ghana, and congratulations once again. Thank you, home sweet home, home sweet home. Yeah, I love to come Ghana. I was born in Britain, Ghana, so anytime I come home, I feel like, yeah, I feel at home. And when I'm back in the UK, I feel like, okay, that's work time. And now I feel at home, and then I'm enjoying it so far anyway, yeah. The heat is not disturbing you at all? The heat is a proper, proper problem to me because I swear a lot. Yeah, it's, can you imagine, it just come from a degrees from back... Uh, up there and it just drop down there and then everything all just get changed you know the heat is is killing me but you know what home sweet home and then, like i said that's the only way you can do to let your business go so because we need to, things here to go across the border we need things over there to bring it down yeah just to make everything complete anyway so i don't mind traveling as long as i'm at I'm home i'm at home you don't mind traveling because you come to uk a lot too as well so yeah it's the same it, it works both sides isn't it mm -hmm. <laughs> now i know you are a promoter you do your best to make sure that ghanaian music is being promoted out there in the world how has the gen journey been for you so far considering the fact that this is not ghana but the uk somebody else's land trying to push ghanaian music out there right the journey has been really hard and really tough but then like i said it's all about determination and the word focus. When you've got that word focus and you know what you're doing, you want to get to your aim. Right, it's been really hard because, like I said, when people started all this promotion down there, up there in the UK, people don't really want to know. Because think about it, people have gone there to UK to work hard and bring money home. Nobody really wanted to come to an event. And everything. So we have to work hard to just put a message across them. And then things was a bit difficult more because the message we're trying to put across, like we're trying to let them know something about Afro dance, the use of African music, which they used to call it high life, hip life, and that. But to come across a danceable tune with a high life lyrics and stuff on it, it's a bit hard. Somebody want to take in because people feel like this is not their type of music. This is not that. But then it got to that point that things has to be, be amended. Because the music is about message, it's not about anything else again. So it's been, the journey has been very hard, but then we've worked hard and now the other people are making collaborations with us and stuff and that. So I think Ghana music is just going to be high across the UK. So big up all the Ghanaians and big up everybody that make this thing successful because now it's looking good over in the UK anyway. Now talking of events too, how are Ghanaians holding it up over there? Yeah, the Ghanaians are doing, we're doing our, our best to hold up whatever that we need to do. But basically, there's no really unity, unity in our Ghanaian promoters over there because everybody is kind of like trying to do something that, if I should say, trying to make something for themselves. We're not coming together, unite to do something good. But I believe that when we come together, we can do something very big because it's happening in the other side of the world. I don't want to mention names, but the other African countries are getting united and they're making things and things are getting a bit more higher. So I'm calling upon all these promoters, let's unite and do something big. Don't think about you alone and your family, but think about everybody because we're trying to put Ghana music across the barriers, across the world, across everywhere. So we can be known too as well. So, yeah, promoters, come on, let's do it big for the pride. Mm. <laughs> now, before I let you go, Afro Nation was somewhere in December. I know that uh, you were not able to make it on that day, um, of course, in December or anything of the sort, but uh, of course it's passed. But the good news is that people came to Ghana, they loved Ghana, they enjoyed Ghana. And now our government has signed a five-year contract deal with them to actually host Afro Nation every December in Ghana. Do you think it's a good thing? Right. I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna say it's a good thing, or I'm not gonna say it's a bad thing. But uh, 
that's how this world is turning into now because I remember myself as a person 2013 when I went Ghana to do this Africa my was called African Nations like it was Afro it was African Nations Festival something I was gonna do with Jobo Sounds that got everything at the end of the day due to some sponsorship it couldn't happen anywhere and then I have to move back to UK because then like I said those days was the days when Samin and Shatter Storm, where everybody was in the camp and we were trying to do it big for the pride, but it didn't happen anyway. And the thing is that if we we mean to do something and we are not looking on that aspect of it to do it, any human can come from anywhere and to do it. I don't blame them bringing it here because like we've got promoters here, we've got things like here that they haven't done it. This thing is being there for a long time. Somebody should have done it. So if this outside promoter has come to do it, fine. It's also trying to do his work across the worldwide, across the world. But I'm not too keen about the five years contract because um, that's a bit, yeah, too much if I should say. But who knows? Maybe that contract uh, contract can be terminated. Yeah. <laughs> well, we hope not, but well, if it comes, why not? But hey, we are looking forward to great works. I know you have some message for our artists out there, especially now that you're doing a lot of their works out there in the UK. Right. Artists, I always tell them the good things, but all I say to them all the time is like, they just have to just focus on what they are doing. If you focus on what you're doing and you put your all your energy in what you're doing and stop looking on what your next brother is singing, your next brother is doing, how your next brother is carrying himself, it wouldn't work. Leave all things aside, focus on your music and just focus on what the audience, what the nation want from you and deliver it to them and every, it will just create peace and love to everyone but then instead of that and people are just trying to beef and trying to play that kind of songs that you know our children don't want to hear that and a whole lot of that it's not good so all artists I just tell them focus on your music focus on whatever that you're doing and success will be your reward so big up every Ghanaian artist across the world UK worldwide as long as you got the African blood in you come on let it go Right, so yes, that was Big Nash Promotions and yes, when you get to the UK and you're an artist, just look out for him and I bet you, you never regret promoting your music out there in the UK. Thank you so much for talking to us. You're welcome, my sister. Much love to you as well, you know. Big up all the hard work you've been doing because I see where you're coming from and I see where you're heading towards and I say, yeah, bless you for everything that you've been doing because you came to UK, you showed your love, you came to, you went to Dubai, you showed your love. Everywhere that you've been, you focus on your work. A big Nash promotions right there. Just follow him on social media and you can get all the information you need as a person. Thank you viewers. Thank you Big Nash promotions.